Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with Golden Opportunities Coaching. Welcome to those of you who are new, welcome back to those of you who are seasoned veterans of what we do around here. What we do around here is we bring about conversations on a variety of topics, social, emotional, psychological, spiritual, uh, relational, whatever have you. And we do that in an audio format as often as we can, usually several times per week, sometimes every day. Uh, we've got over 580 of those available for you in a variety of topics, and we are committed to continuing to grow this library in the best way we possibly can for your listening pleasure. If you're looking to set new habits and to achieve new habits, certainly that's something that I'm very passionate about helping people to do. It's what I've done for, well, nearly, this is year number what uh, 14 for me now. It'll, I'll be entering year 15 in October, so it's been a while since I've done that, but right now I'm going to grab my phone. We'll be back in two shakes of a lamb's tail there. Again, connecting with me is relatively simple, either through Twitter at PO Perception or uh, in the About Me section of this YouTube page, and I'd love to help you kind of create new pathways in your brain to make new habits happen. That's what we're going to talk about, five steps to kind of creating new habits. The first is transform yourself visually and in a vision board sense into the person you want to be. What would that person be doing with their time? Who would you be hanging out with? How much time would you be putting into personal relationships, professional pursuits? How visible would you be? What would your daily routine be like? If you can transform in your mind into the person you want to become, as the actions happen, you begin to be more committed to the process of actually taking the action step by step that would make them happen. There is no commitment outside of a vision. And so what happens for lots of people when they're trying to change habits is they aren't committed because they don't know what it would look like to succeed. All they know is they want the change, but they don't know how to get there and they don't know what it would do for their quality of life to have gotten there. So the more visual you are with the things you're trying to accomplish, the easier it becomes to actually do the things you want to do in a way that, that matters long and short term. The next thing to consider, and, and it's just as important, is practice. Whatever it is that you want to do, get into a habit and routine of practicing the things that you want to accomplish. If it's losing weight, then practice healthy eating habits on a daily basis. But don't overpromise yourself. If you need to have a cheat day and you're on a diet, do that. Don't do the hardcore, I'm going to do everything and nothing's ever going to come up and I'm never going to be tempted stuff. Because honestly, you're setting yourself up for failure. Instead, creating a different relationship with your own ability to commit to your own progress slowly is much better. It's, it's no different than saying a person that needs to lose 50 pounds um, – doesn't need to lose doesn't need to lose 50 full pounds they need to lose one pound 50 times two pounds 25 times etc when you break things down into smaller goals and practice towards reaching the smaller goals rather than only focusing on the larger goal you will kind of reverse engineer your brain to committing to your new habit also give yourself between three weeks and 90 days so between three weeks and three months for the goal to stick that means pushing through the times you want to quit and having the courage to push through in your own life. Now, there's going to be emotional points where you want to quit. That is normal. It's, a, it's to be expected, especially if you've been wired in a certain way for a length of time that is beyond, you know, a certain level. So if you, if, if you, if you need to, you know maybe listen to mantras or certain music or talk to a certain friend on a consistent on a consistent basis or do whatever it is that you need to do consistently to be able to remain committed and connected and also understand that you will need courage the courage part is more about kind of moving in a direction that's actually going to lead you forward versus um you know, getting to a place that actually counts. So courage means pushing past your emotions, past the, the reason, the desires to quit, past the temptations of people taking you off path and into a place where you're fully or as fully as you're willing to be in that moment committed. There's always ways to commit more. There's always ways to, ways to 
commit deeper, but if you're not willing to do it and you're not you're not there, committing at a seven when you're only at a four in terms of internal willingness is completely pointless. The next thing to consider is, um, you know, kind of kill your ego. This isn't a competition. It's not a race. Getting there and getting to your final destination in a consistent way matters more than speed. So the idea that other people did it better than you or quicker than you or whatever than you doesn't matter. The idea that you slipped eight times and fell down eight times it just means that nine is closer to being your breakthrough. So let go of your ego and the illusion of competition that it matters how quickly you do something. What matters is your level of success, your level of progress, your, com your commitment to being progress-focused, progress-minded, and step-by-step -step, uh, internal commitments. The last thing in this in this particular outlook is learn, leave your comfort zone. Push yourself to do things that are uncomfortable so that your your habits will stick. If you need to maybe maybe commit to running a marathon because you need to get in better shape or you need to go do an open mic night to deal with stage fright, push yourself to do things you wouldn't normally do so that you can get to a place of progress on a quicker and more consistent trajectory. Hopefully this is helpful. I encourage you to keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Until next time, everybody.